One of the programs I use, I can only have up to 99 items in the list when I run a query. And uh, if I have over 99, it'll bomb out and of course it doesn't count for me also. And usually what I'm working from is I have the items in a list like this, but I need to call them a little bit of list order. And so what I've done here is I've put in several hundred here just to demonstrate. Uh, so there's uh, 1425. And I can highlight them all and hit a key combo. Let's try that again, hit a key combo. And it basically um, inserts a comma and it counts up to 99. It actually counts up to 98, and then the 99th one is here. And it then puts in two time breaks. And, uh, and then, so it's easy for me to see here's 99. So there's 1,099, right? Um, it does in intervals of 99. So I can enter these in, and it's quick and easy right now. Um, these will all work. Another thing is if I happen to be working on a list, things that have commas in them. So let's say if my list, um, let me bring them over here, I have some on the page. So if some of my items had commas in them already, uh, I need to basically take that into account. Usually in a lot of language I'd be escaping them out. Uh, in the business objects you don't, you have to wrap it. And I believe what I've done here, if I run my script, It, now you notice it put a comma, so let me, it put the commas in them, and I'll show you the ones that had commas in them. It's wrapped them in this at quote, query related bracket, quote, um, then the, so this is one, rain, comma, box, and then the quote, bracket, at. So it's automatically, it detects that there's a comma, um, let me give you the original here so you can see it. So the electrical lights and rain box had commas in them, and detected that, so I put those um, inside these characters to know that um, when it's in the end list, that uh, everything will work just fine. So when it's run this way, that'll still work the way I want it to. And that's it. Thanks.